Hello, spiritual friends. Today, I want to talk to you about the ego. Now, many spiritual people think that it's bad to have an ego, but mainly the ego represents your individual personality. And your personality forms by the time you're about five or six years old from your subconscious interpretations of your early life. This is also when your handshape archetype forms. If you completely eliminated the ego, you would no longer have a personality and therefore would no longer be able to exert your free will. You would meld into the collective consciousness and would not be able to express your personal divine purpose. The Pleiadians came to me recently with this transmission. They said, your archetype needs to be able to express itself in harmony with the soul, or there can be issues in moving forward with your life purpose. The key is to expand awareness of oneself. This is the third aspect of ascension. Here is an invocation they gave me to assist you with this. I release any and all false perceptions of myself that are not supporting me in moving forward in my divine life purpose. I let go and release any and all views of not love in all dimensions now. I claim my inner strength to be renewed and purified, and I now recognize my personality as an asset to my life, not a detriment or something to be fixed or removed while I inhabit my body. I welcome and allow harmony to be restored with my soul and personality working in tandem as I co-create that which my creator carefully mapped out with me prior to my incarnation. Thank you, and so it is. By the way, if you're not sure what your handshape archetype is, I wrote a whole book about it called Stories in Your Hands. And if you're interested in manifesting your really big dreams and your life of abundance and miracles, go ahead and just check out my free training over at ascension17.com. And let me know in the comments what you think. And please follow and like for more spiritual and abundance tips. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.